welcome back to CMS Academy and now <coughs> since we have already get gotten our hosting so now we can install Magento in our hosting account so the first thing to do is to log into your C panel I'm going to log to my C panel have the shortcut here it's successful <coughs> So you must be having a domain which is already registered so that uh, we can use that domain name to install our, our Magento. So you can see mine is a subdomain that is why it will be appearing here. You first confirm whether it is there. Yes, we have it. It's a Magento to the homeworkmasters.com. Is the one that uh, we are going to install. So if you don't have one, you can uh, create one on your account. If you are hosting, if you are using a subdomain or if it's a domain, you can still install. So uh, you just click where you have the, you can click where you have the soft crash or where you have the Magento. Just click where you have the Magento in our <coughs> C panel. Yeah, you can see you have some uh, several Magento version. You have version 1.9, you have version 1.7, and version 1.8. The release date was is the latest release date. They require it is require 100.95 MB. You can see a disk disk space is right, so you can install. So if you want to have uh, the overview, you can have the, the features. These are all the features that are uh, that will be included in that um, uh, Magento CMS. You have the analytic reporting, search engine optimization, site management, catalog management. You have the catalog browsing, product browsing, mobile commerce. You have the international support. You have the checkout, shipping. You also have the payment, customer service, customer account, and uh, order payment. The other thing, if you want to have some uh, screenshot of. Uh, If you even now want to have some demo, you want to see some uh, rating, this uh, the way it look like. This is what you are going to get. So this one you can be able to view and see. You are going to see all of them. You can have demo, you can have review and import. So you just click install. Then you come here, you choose the version that you want to install. You want to install the latest version. The protocol since I don't have the <coughs> the SSL certificate I just install just in the HTTP then you choose the domain that you want to install as uh, a Magento as a Magento to the homework it is the the folder that you want to install I want to install to the main root of the that domain name. database name is given you also have the the clone just leave it at easy it the admin path, admin site settings. Maybe you can uh, call it Magento. Call it Magento. Then the admin username. Let's call it Magento. Then password. These are not to generate password. See, so we want to have a password that uh, we can be in a position to remember. The password, first name, it can be Magento, then the last name can be Academy, Magento Academy. And you choose your admin email. You have to fill that one. Then you again, you have to check if you want to have auto upgrade. Let's have auto up upgrade because there 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 will be no effect. And again, this is the best one of the best reason for using the site crowd. Because it will be updated automatically. 
you want to disable notification so that you are not notified you can notify so before you click the install button you have to check whether everything is all right you have the this version this a the, the protocol you have the domain folder database name Yes, have the admin path and let's uh, mean the eight yours admin one two three the admin path then you can click install after you have make sure everything Yes, all right. You can see. Magento has been successful in your sword and you can even check the website to see. There's a home page now, let's see. Yes, you can see. You already have uh, Magento being installed in our hosting account. So you'll be having your account, my account wishes, my card, check it out. You also have the cards. You have no item in a shopping cart also search the entire store and compare product uh, what is the favorite color you can choose and then vote these are some of uh, the demo content that come with the uh, in the magento then uh, when you vote you you have been a position to get the result automatically and after that you can see you are now accepting people Then these are some of the pages that have been created automatically. These are about us. About us. This is a contact us page. And this one is okay. There is nothing you need to modify. And as you see, customer service that you'll be offering. They are all included here. The shipping, delivery, privacy, and safety returns. There are some of the you can you can you change later and also see my account this is where you can uh, if you already registered member you can log in if you already registered member you can uh, log in have so many is an here you can email you can choose any that you want and uh, if you are new you can uh, click click the create account then you sign up if you, you can even register for newsletter so that is all about the magento so then the, the magento theme that uh, we, have, we have installed automatically so the next session, se section we are going to go to the admin panel of our magento so thank you for watching and see you through through the next tutorial